Yesterday was just another Wednesday Then an SBC drop, then it was a fun day Three new American boys in FIFA Brooksy, Josie, and the main man Westy 400k for the bunch Let me eat lunch, then we do the SBC crunch No, that wasn't me Give me three American SBCs to do Brooksy with the custom celebration is very cool These American cards I'm gonna keep it a full stack with you boys. Yesterday was painful enough. This was me in the crowds of the Germany England match, but none of you, a bunch of you guys, bunch of you guys think it's funny tweeting me this saying, "Wait, were you at the Sweden Ukraine game?" First off, I'm not Swedish. Okay, I support Switzerland now. Second off, no, that wasn't me. I'm here in Miami. I'm not. At, I wasn't at the Sweden Ukraine game. I don't know if there's anyone else out there. I'm the sort of guy that can't get away with wearing a hat like this. My forehead is too big. I mean, that looks kind of cool. What's up, boys, and welcome to the best Team USA in FIFA episodio that is right. Yesterday, we got the United States Nation Players uh, SBCs, which saw us get a Weston McKinney, we got a John Brooks, and we also saw, uh, also saw ourselves get a Josie Aldador. There were a lot of comments saying, like, it would have been great to get a Gio Reyna, would have been great to get a jacked-off Christian Pulisic card, which I agree. We had the 87 storyline, but, uh, you know, for, for most of us, we weren't able to, uh, we, we, we didn't grind that far. Um... But, uh, yeah, I mean, like, it's a good selection of players, but it isn't an incredible selection of players, right? This is the Altador, uh, this is the McKenny, and then this is the, uh, this is the Cheeky John Brooks, which I would make the argument, uh, might be the most fun one, because he actually does have himself a secret celebration. Shout out to the boys over on Reddit. If you hold down X, if you somehow manage to get a goal with, uh, with Brooksy, I'm not sure how you would do it. it probably, well, obviously, would probably be a header, right? 97 heading accuracy, 86 jumping. If you hold down X, he's got his own celebration in the game called Disbelief, which is a loose recreation of his goal celebration from the 2014 World Cup for Ghana. Um, after he scores a goal, he will, do, uh, if you trigger his signature celebration after he scores, he will do it every time. But um, uh, I guess a cool little fact there if you uh, if you actually figure out a way to score a goal with John Brooks. But today, boys, we're going to look at the best USA team in FIFA. We're in the middle of the summer. Not too much crazy content. We had an 85-90 repeatable pack, uh, team of the season pack today, which I would imagine would be good for fodder. We have ourselves, I, gu I think, a guaranteed team of the week. Um, and then there was also one more upgrade one. No player SBC today, so I thought today we would look at this Weston McKinney, which looks pretty nice. And also a little bit interesting, given that it came out a couple days after that our tour, uh, which uh, which was pretty expensive. Uh, and in some ways, uh, this card's better. In some way, that card's better. But today, we are looking, like I said, at the best team, uh, the best USA team in FIFA, with July Fourth coming up and the Gold Cup. I think that's probably why EA went ahead uh, and released these cards. So of course, you already know what we had to do. We had to slap together a full USA squad. Smash like on the video if you think USA is winning the Gold Cup. Smash like on the video if you think this Weston McKinney is actually pretty damn decent for the price. Smash like on the video if you think this is me. <laughs> if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below so you can get all three players. And this is the reveal of the Team USA squad. Let's get uh, dates. Becky G, I'm pretty sure. Pretty cool looking cards. Again, I think it's about 400,000 coins for the lot of them. 93 finishing, 87 composure. The agility leaves a little bit to be desired. He's got the 86 stamina, the 99 strength. He's got the 94 jumping, 99 heading accuracy. No real traits to speak of. Um, and again, ridiculous shot power. Get him inside the box. I wouldn't imagine you're going to miss too much with him. Four-star skill moves would have been a nice addition on him. The medium low. We're, we're going to see how that we're going to see how that factors into the card. The Weston McKinney looks absolutely ridiculous again another card where it would have been cool to get maybe a four star weak for it or something like that 99 sprint speed with 93 acceleration already has pretty pretty decent dribbling for a midfielder way more than decent enough for a midfielder uh and then has himself some go to defending stats everything pretty much goes up to uh 95 plus 99 slide tackle 99 standing tackle 95 defense awareness and then 99 interceptions with 95 stamina and 95 strength legitimately Turns into one of the best midfield cards uh, in the game, and there's no debate about it. I'm even thinking about maybe taking the squad through Weekend League and seeing uh, if you can uh, get it done. Also, the giant throw-in trait, which is kind of cool. Plus, it's Weston McKinney. Brooksy um, has himself really good defending stats. Again, everything is over 90. Some of the important stats are over 95, 96. So we're going to see how the boys play. We're going to see if we can score a goal with Brooksy and then trigger that custom celebration. Match number one with Team USA. Los Gates. Here we go, Brooksy. That's not, is that a red card? That's not a red card, right? No, that's a warning. Here we go, Westy. Brooks on Zaha. He just bosses him out. That's off. 
I honestly don't know what else to do. Para man, what the hell? There we go, Josie. That's exactly what you want to be doing with Josie Altador. You just want to power up and you want to blast and you want to pray. He's got the four-star weak foot. He's not going to be doing any skilling. Uh, he's got a little bit of uh, he's got a little bit of agility with the engine chem style, but he's got ridiculous finishing. His composure might not be all that, but he's got ridiculous strength too. So he's going to barrel into the box. You basically just want to take him and you want to use him as like a human bulldozer. There we go, boys. Gio Reyna. Team USA, let's go. Ah, that was trash. Vinny, nice little interception. Way is on. Timmy Way up. That is not a 74 rated card, ladies and gentlemen. That is a, uh, that is a, that's a 91, that's a card that plays like a 91 team of the season. Brooksy? Yeah, Bro Brooksy just doesn't. Yeah, you just don't go through Brooksy. What a pass. Captain America, let's go, boys. 76 minute. Was it a beautiful goal? It was not a beautiful goal by any means. Uh, but that is a goal, nonetheless. 4-3 in the 76th minute. Ferrara FC, is he rage quitting? Is he getting out of here? Or is, I, or is he maybe just messaging me saying that he's impressed that I'm running a full USA team? Hey. 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 Yo, I gotta say, Brooks is ridiculous. No, thank you. Yeah, John Brooks. John Brooks, I had my suspicions that maybe he was the best player of the bunch. Match number one, uh, a match where we went down early 2-0, managed to rally, bring it back 4-3, and just a very, very solid effort from the boys, the United States Nation player boys. Again, 400,000 coins for the lot of them. I think it's pretty damn decent. All right, West McKinney, let's test out that 99 sprint speed. Captain America. Go on, Josie! Go on, Josie Altador! The engine is definitely the play with Josie because you do want a little bit of that extra... You want a little bit of, that, a little bit of that extra agility. Yeah, look at the pace. Yeah, Weston McKinney gets there... Weston McKinney gets there so easily. Sent him on a manual run. Mbappe's gonna be a good test for Brooksy. So far, he's hanging with him. Brooks, dude, Brooks. I mean, so the the only issue with Brooks is that there's so many ridiculous, uh, there's so many ridiculous center backs in the Bundesliga already, and a lot of them are absolutely cracked. So, uh, for some for some of us, I'm not sure we're gonna even be able to figure out a way to wiggle him into the squad. Brooks on Mbappe. That's John Brooks on that's John Brooks on Player of the Month Mbappe. That's the defensive awareness of an Ico Parra. That's what happens when you run an 82 rated center back. So he's going to go left, isn't he? <laughs> Aparra's just not it. Aparra's just not it. Okay. Jo okay, Josie's waking up. Come on, boys! Josie out the door, boys! Come on! Timothy Weyer, boys! Timothy Weyer coming to the rescue! 
Could you imagine the absolute? Could you imagine the absolute scenes if we pull off the dub? Weston, come on. Look at what it means to let get. He's dating Becky G. That's 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 just how you make a save against Killian Mbappe. Timothy Wheel! Let's go, boys! 5-4 in the dying minutes of the game! It has to mean more to you. Sometimes it just has to mean more to you. It may be August in 2021. But sometimes in a match of FIFA, when you come up against insurmountable odds, when you come up against a team that's 194 rated, 195 rated, and you're sitting there with a full USA squad, with a freaking uh, United States uh, nation player, Brooksy, Weston McKinney, and Josie Aldador, it's got to mean more to you. And dear Lord, did it mean more to us in this one. A 74 rated... Josie, Josie goes in and gets the Hattie, right? So he gets the four total attempts, he gets the three goals. Man like Josie Alda, three out of four tackles won by Weston McKinney. Absolutely bossed the midfield. Brooksy uh, didn't win a tackle the entire match. I guess we didn't even need him to do it. Boy, so that is going to do it for the Team USA squad. We had six goal contributions in two matches played for Josie Aldador. Not going to lie, wasn't 100% expecting him to be one of the more impressive cards. Uh, Weston McKinney just bossed out the midfield. Again, just a ridiculous, ridiculous card. Serie A boys, USA boys, whatever. Uh, one of our, sec our second favorite league after the Bundesliga, so I feel like this is a card we're definitely going to have to grind towards. Let's start at the chop. Josie Aldador, MLS, a USA link, so not the greatest links in the world. And uh, at this stage in the game, isn't the most incredible card, but he did bang goals in for uh, he did bang uh, he did bang goals in for us. Uh, does have 93 finishing, 99 strength, and you really have to be pretty much a USA fanboy to get him done. I'd say three out of five in terms of value on the pitch performance. I would give him three and a half out of five. We're gonna go over to Weston McKinney. I'm gonna say four to four, uh, four to five in terms of value, and then also four to five in terms of on the pitch performance. He instantly becomes one of the best, uh, not only overall uh, total in game stat midfielders in the game, but is one of the best midfielders. I would argue a top three defensive midfielder. In the Serie A, um, and uh, not too crazy of a price point at about 190, 200,000 coins. So I'm going to say four to five in terms of value, like I just said. And then Brooksy is an interesting one, right? Because he's really, really good. Uh, gets links into Lacroix, gets links into Roussillon, gets links into Baku. Um, but the the issue with the Bundesliga is if you know if you already have the Tapsoba, if you already have the Bender brothers, if you already have um, you know, uh, a clusterman who's like 100,000 coins right now. Is there any need for Brooks? And the question is, uh, and the answer is, you know, if you're just trying to have a little bit of fun, if you're a Wolfsburg supporter. So I, I, I would go so far as to say four to five in terms of on the pitch performance, but then three and a half out of five in terms of value. Like I said, because there are so many ridiculous uh, center back options. Have a safe July 4th, man. Miami gets a little bit crazy. I know we can get a little bit carried away here, but hey, have a safe July 4th. You know, stay inside, maybe play a little bit of FIFA while it's crazy out there. But um, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the episode. Yeah. The full USA squad, it's things you absolutely love to see. Let me know maybe one of the three players, which one you guys are most excited for. If you guys have unlocked them, have you found them to be particularly beastly? Smash like on the video if you guys are new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button down below. And I'll catch you guys for a stream later tonight. I'll catch you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, my bros. Tschüss. Later. Update.